the standard for life with prophet tb joshua if you know you need the lord jesus come on wave your hands to him wave your hands and worship him in the beauty of his holiness because in his presence there are pleasures forevermore and in his presence we have no reason to fear in the God be for us who can succeed against us. Nobody. Viewers all over the world, at the end of today's program, your life and your testimonies will be restored. Yeah. You may be seated. Say, O oh Lord, oh Lord. My, soul my soul is waiting for you. Waiting for you. In your word, is my, is my salvation. In your word, In your word is, my is my freedom. Let your word, Let your word. O, Lord, o Lord, bring them. Bring Hallelujah. Amen. People of God, I want you to know one thing. Life is a battlefield. As long as we are in this world, we will continue to battle against the spiritual entities that cause crisis, tension, and pressure in our homes, in our marriages, in our health, in our career, in our finances, and in our future. Our battles are similar, only camouflaged differently. Tell your neighbor, Satan, Satan is our common enemy. Satan is our common enemy and he is furious because we have not stopped fighting him. This is the battle for survival. As children of the Most High God, our battle for survival is not a personal challenge. Take note. But the Lord's. God Almighty knows that we are naturally weak and fearful when we are faced with danger or an adversary who seems stronger than we are. We, on our own part, should learn to trust in God's help so that those whose primary interest is to make us feel ashamed will themselves be ashamed. Upon our own strength, we cannot rely. For our natural strength is as perfect weakness. Our natural courage is as perfect cowardice. All our sufficiency is of God. Therefore, it is not a matter of combining our strength with God's strength. But it is a matter of total and complete removal of our strength in order to put on God's strength. Tell your neighbor, put on God's strength. Put on God's strength for there is not enough physical strength 
to stop Satan. There is not enough mental strength to stop Satan. Satan can only be stopped by the strength of the Lord. So as children of God, we must depend upon God Almighty for strength and assistance, laying our souls under his influence and operations. Right now, get ready to lay your soul under the influence and the operations of the Holy Spirit as you listen to this message titled, Leave It for God. Say, Leave It for God! Join me as we read a proof text taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 6. We'll read from verse 25 to 27, and then from verses 33 to 34. God bless you. Let's read together. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on, is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Verse 26. Look at the bearers of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Verse 27. Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? This is a question. Let's go to verse 33 and then to verse 34. God bless you. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow we worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Our message, leave it for God. When I say leave it for God, I mean do not worry about your situation. Rather, you should be ruled by what God's word says about it. There is a better way to handle your situation. The key is not to suppress the flesh. The key is to surrender to the spirit. I mean to walk in the spirit. When we walk in the spirit in Christ Jesus, Satan, the cause of our trouble, will be under our feet. Where is Satan in your life? Say, he is, he is. under my feet. Because I walk in the spirit in Christ Jesus. Those who desire to leave their situation for God should arm themselves with clear, great, and high thoughts of God, His sovereignty and the invisible world. As a Christian, you should be ruled by what God's word says about your situation. For God's word is one, eternal. Two, the final authority, settling all questions and problems, yours inclusive. The same word of God says that if you begin to think about tomorrow or yesterday, you are building tensions around your today. Yesterday is history. Today is what? opportunity and tomorrow is mystery so as a christian let tomorrow be god is aware of your situation when god is aware of your situation he will not allow anything that is out of his control to happen to you say he knows me by my name he knows me by my name when God is aware of your situation as a child of God, he will not allow anything that is out of his control to happen to you. 
Don't forget that your life is safe in God's strong hands. So don't be afraid. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. People of God, although we are in this world of distraction, don't be rude by your situation. I mean, do not lose focus nor be distracted by any situation. When you turn your Bibles to the book of John, chapter 16, and verse 33, Jesus said in me, you will have peace. In the world, you will have trouble. Be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Hear my Father and the Lord said, and I quote, it is very easy to get off track and lose focus. Knowing what you come into this world to do, no matter what is going on in your life, if you love yourself as much as you should, you will learn that if you feel pain, you are living out of the truth where your light is coming from. Keep your focus. Be determined and identify your source. Permit me to ask you the following questions. Who is your light? Those who make Jesus Christ their light shall never walk in darkness. Who is your source? Those who make Jesus Christ their source shall find him to be all sufficient. And their happiness shall remain permanent. As Christians, let this hope cheer us up under all situations so that we may have an abundant access to God's kingdom. Look at the case of Prophet Moses. God was his light. In the book of Exodus chapter 14, take your reading from verses 1 to the end. The Bible says that Moses made God his source and he found God to be all sufficient. He chose to leave his situations for God and let him glorify his name. And that was why he said to the children of Israel, do not worry about the numerous adversaries, nor be terrified by the raging red sea. For our battle for survival is not a personal challenge, but the Lord's. He does not need a support, so leave it for God and see what will happen? I have a maker. He formed my heart before even time began. My life was in His hand. I'm glad he knows my name. may be seated, people of God. He said, our God does not need a support. Leave it for him and see what will happen. By this statement, we are made to understand clearly that when we do not seek to defend ourselves, we will be made stronger by the Lord. No, it is not true. It is true. It is not true. I did not say it. I did not do. When you do not seek to defend yourself, you will be made stronger by the Lord. There is not enough physical strength to stop your adversaries. There is not enough mental strength to stop your adversaries. Your adversaries can only be stopped by the strength of the Lord. In Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6, it is written, 
that it is not by power, it is not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. This is what my father and the Lord, Sino Prophet TV Joshua, meant when he said that our communication is imperfect unless aided by the Holy Spirit. People of God, the best man in the world can only maintain his integrity, honor, or position as long as God opposes him in it. As long as God keeps him in it. For by his grace, we are who we are. We are where we are, and we have what we have. If God withdraws his support from us, or if we were to be left to ourselves, we would fall, and our enemies would triumph over us. They would laugh at us, ha, 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 he has fallen again. Children of God, we should learn to leave our situations for God because salvation is not in us. We can destroy ourselves. We cannot save ourselves. But the name Jesus can. There is no other name by which simple souls can be saved, by which diseased bodies can be cured, except by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. The Bible says he is the name above all names. At the mention of that name, Jesus, all knees shall bow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Indeed, he is the Lord. Amen. When we learn to use the name Jesus Christ, according to the scripture, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, we will have the secret that shook the whole world through the apostles. You may ask, what is the secret? Ask your neighbor, what is the secret? <laughs> Say, I want to know. <laughs> now listen, there is salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. There are miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Miracles are God restoring what Satan has tampered with. Look around you, you see many things have been tampered with by Satan in the lives of people. Look at their marriages, look at their health, Look at their finances. Just look around. You see the destruction caused by the demons. How can we believers wrought miracles in the name of Jesus? My father and the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua said, and I quote, the miracles and wonders are wrought not by repeating the name Jesus. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. At the book of, no. Not by repeating the name Jesus as a good luck charm, but by believing in it as a divine revelation of his good will to men. And his good will towards us is to be physically healed and spiritually saved. There are two conditions for this kind of belief. One, openly professing your relationship with Christ. And two, totally depending upon him and standing by him in all circumstances. Ask Shadrach, ask Meshach, ask Abednego, and they will tell you that this calls for an absolute belief and trust in God that he is now working out the answer. Whatever life brings, God is good all the time. Whether he saves you or not, Jesus is the Lord. Whether he heals you or not, he is who he says he is. Whether he delivers you or not, he has what he says he has. Whether he saves you or not, he can do what he says he can do. <laughs> Viewers all over the world, what is challenging your faith in God? Is it hardship? Is it infirmity? Is it oppression? Is it intolerance or injustice? Do not forget that your life is in God's hand. It is safe in God's hand. What you need to do, learn to put your problems into God's hand. When you put your problems into God's hand, he will put his peace into your heart. The peace of conscience we derive from 
Walking with the Lord produces internal joy. Security of God's presence, ease of heart, and assurance of life. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1, take your reading from verses 1 and 2, we are told that this peace of conscience is our inheritance of our Lord Jesus Christ. With this peace of conscience, you will be made to understand that no matter your condition, no matter your level in life, there is always the superior realm that controls both the visible and the invisible world. Their solution is. Have you discovered this realm by faith? Faith sees the invisible, believes the impossible, and receives the incredible. People of God. There are two sides to life, just as there are two sides to a coin. Firstly, the natural side where people try to figure God out with their natural mind. Secondly, the spiritual side and an ultimate conclusion where Satan was defeated. By faith, see the other side. I mean, log on to the new realm above the senses. When you log on to the new realm above the senses, you will get out of the natural side of life where Satan rises up and becomes bigger. And then into the spiritual side of life where Satan diminishes and becomes what? Smaller. Only then you will see clearly that Satan is a defeated foe. He knows it. I know it. And you know it. You don't have to worry and don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning, troubles they don't last away. Remember there's a friend named Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, come and charge just lift your hand. Just lift your hand. Indeed, your life is in the hands of God. Amen. Where Satan cannot touch. Amen. Say, you Satan! You Satan! Touch not. touch not. You may be seated. Now, where and how was Satan defeated? First and foremost, Jesus Christ defeated Satan on the cross of Calvary. His victory over Satan was much more than a natural victory. I mean, it was a supernatural victory, a spiritual victory. Christ's victory over Satan gave all believers their own victory. I mean, Christ has given overcoming victory to all those who are born again. Those who are born not of the flesh and blood nor of the corruptible seed, but of the incorruptible seed by the living and eternal words of God. How do we overcome Satan? In accordance with the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, we overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. For it is the word of God coming out of your lips that produces an overcoming spirit in you. Hence, victory through Christ Jesus is victory indeed. The rest is history. Victory obtained through Christ Jesus is already there for those who recognize it. Do you recognize the victory in Christ Jesus by faith? No Jesus Christ, no victory. No Jesus Christ, no success. Now, if you want to be victorious and successful in life, Please include God in your decision making. How many of us include God in our decision making? For instance, when we were young, we believed we would go it all alone, 
without any reference to God. Little did we know that after we have done everything humanly possible, we still need to leave the issues with God, for it is His duty to mark our work. To get our prayer answered, we must depend entirely on the merit and mediation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Are the only genuine ground for claiming any blessings from God. In other words, as Christians, we must not rely on ourselves, but on someone stronger, smarter, and wiser than ourselves. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was Paul's choice. What is yours? Say the God that raises the dead. It's my choice. It's my choice. Viewers, if you trust in yourself, you are doomed to defeat. Trust in yourself and you are doomed to disappointment. Trust in your parents or friends and they will die and leave you. But trust in Jesus Christ and you will never be confounded in time or eternity. Trusting in Christ Jesus is not a mere intellectual acknowledgement but adheres to, trust in, commitment to, faith in, and total dependence upon Christ for everything. This is what my mentor, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, referred to as true humility. True humility is total dependence upon Christ for everything. Amen. You who are oppressed, you who are weak, there is hope for you. Jesus Christ is the hope. Amen. The powerful people oppress the weak, but Jesus Christ cares for the weak. Now, if the weak come to him, he will strengthen and help them just as he would the strong. No matter where you are coming from, no matter who you are, and no matter your physical ability, you can still leave your matter for God and let him glorify his name. Whatever unpleasant situation you are in, as a Christian, it is a mere challenge to your God. And he will not allow you to be devoured. Why? Because the extent of his care and the strength of his might weaken and frustrate our adversaries. From this you know that ultimately we have two classes of people. Those who fight for God... And two, those who God fights for. Those who fight for God are always talking about their battle instead of their promised victory. They are always talking about their battle instead of the one who is fighting for them. Their lives are centered on how they are doing, how they are treated, and how they are feeling. As a result, they begin to measure themselves by themselves. I am not like this man, I am like this man. They begin to compare themselves to others and finally begin to battle against the flesh and blood. But those who God fights for are always talking about their promised victory, the one who is fighting for them instead of their battle. They learn not to defend themselves, but leave their situation for God alone to handle. Now, which of these two groups of people do you belong to? Learn to leave it for God. We can only leave it for God when we are guided by the Holy Spirit to be in an attitude of prayer at all times. For the best antidote against the poison of sin is to walk in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Herein lies the condition you can leave it for God. Leave it for God on the condition that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is your CEO, your boss, and the director of your life. Amen. For God stands for those who worship him in an absolute holiness. Finally, there are many promises God has made for you personally. Amen. Promises of forgiveness, Amen. healing, deliverance, prosperity, and salvation. Amen. To inherit these promises... There are many giants in your life that require conquering. Amen. 
These are doubt, fear, unbelief, and impatience. It could also be a form of hardship, infirmity, intolerance, oppression, or injustice. Whatever is your giant as a Christian, you have a friend, the Holy Spirit, who is capable of eliminating all giants. He is the greater one on the inside of you who is able to overcome all obstacles. So learn to leave it for him. Are you misjudged, cheated, persecuted, hated, or abandoned by your people? Though you are doing everything humanly possible to live centered and earth-friendly ways, please, 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 and please, leave it for God and see the care he takes of his true worshippers. Jesus Christ lives and never said goodbye. His presence will more than supply everyone else's absence. There is no more that makes us happy than to have our Lord Jesus Christ upon our spirit. For in him, all spiritual blessings are summed up. Hallelujah. Let us walk in his presence. Let us feel our hands in his hands. And let us relax in the precious arms of the Holy Spirit. At this point in time, permit me to leave you under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who is able to make you leave your situation for God. Amen. Stay in his presence. Viewers all over the world, here is the prayer line section of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. We have people from different countries all over the world have come to have a touch that will change their case. No matter the problem you have out there, you can still be connected to what is happening here. What you need is to believe. Believing in Christ is your connection. Never a problem. Jesus cannot solve, never a sickness he cannot heal, never a friend like him. Make him your friend. Join us in Jesus' name. After encouraging the people to believe, because believing is their connection to receiving whatever they ask from God, Wiseman Christopher moves among the visitors from all over the world and prays for them in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ is fire and power that makes Satan and his agents flee. For at the mention of the name Jesus Christ, every sickness and disease must bow. The name of Jesus Christ has power indeed, but only among those who are committed to the glory of God. This is a proof that the book of Acts is not mere history, but it is the pattern of what God wants his church to be. This man has come to the synagogue church of all nations in a helpless and deplorable condition, fervently in need of divine healing from the master healer, Jesus Christ. He came with a problem of inability to walk due to lumbar spondylosis. Here is his medical report stating the diagnosis of his problem. My name is Mr. M. Eze from Enugu State. I'm here today because I cannot walk due to lumbar spondylosis. I cannot bath, I cannot stand up, I cannot sleep. Even if to wear my clothes was well, a problem. Because my wife has been helping me. I believe God will heal me. Father God, please pray for my husband. I cannot walk. I'm the one helping him everything in the house. Father God, pray for my husband. We cannot go work. I cannot do anything. Father God, pray for my husband. I cannot walk. I want to be healed. I cannot walk. The pains are too much. It's like uh, there's pieces of iron inside my skin, inside my body. Help me. The pains are too much. Our Father and the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, sent us to let you know that Jesus lives he never said goodbye today the lord will put an end to your trouble are you ready to follow him after your healing i'm ready i'm ready in the might of jesus christ come out come out out of the name of jesus come out of him in the name of jesus wiseman christopher approaches and commands him to come out of the vehicle 
stand and walk in Jesus' name. Look at him taking a step Jesus, one after the other. Shall we put our hands together for Thank Jesus? You. You. Hallelujah. Jesus. It is still happening live and direct here. Mr. Eze Eme comes out to share his breathtaking testimony with the people of God. Let's hear from him. My name is Mr. Eze Eme from Enugu State. The problem that brought me was inability to work due to lumbar prognosis. I came back that day from work. I, I didn't do anything. I didn't fight. I didn't call. I didn't even fall from anywhere. I sat down. I discovered that all of a sudden, some movement was going on in my Botox. And this leg started to become heavy, heavier and heavier. I was, before 10 minutes, this leg was like more than one bag of cement. I was unable to move it. In the night, I was unable to sleep. Throughout that very day, I was crying and weeping, and crying and weeping. I went to different places, the hospitals. They diagnosed you. They said, ah, nothing, nothing, nothing happened, nothing happened. And I was still tired. I was still in pain. The pain was so terrible that I could not move this leg. It was like uh, there was a piece of iron, metal, piercing through these legs and trying to remove this uh, 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 leg from my body. When I came to this very place, I was opportune to be arranged in a prayer line. Wise man Christopher came to me. I remember what he said to me. He said, the prophet, man of prophet, he said, he presented that word in the name of Jesus Christ. It's like there was a force. That force came in. I don't know where the force came from. I, was, I found myself struggling to run out of the vehicle, trying to get out of the vehicle. And uh, this leg, man, it was like there's something that was tied here before. It was free. I looked at this place, it was free. The other side was free. I did like turn it, it was free. It was not heavy again. I said, let me just match it. I jumped down. I, I matched it. It was free. Nothing, nothing. I matched it again. It was free. I started walking. And that's how I started walking. <laughs> yes, after that prayer, I became free. And I'm free indeed. Joyfully demonstrating his perfect healing, Mr. Eze Aime kicks his leg in the air and walks freely. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I couldn't move this leg before. I could not. I thank God for everything. I'm very grateful to God. Mm -hmm. My advice to people is to believe in God, trust in God, and he will bring every situation to pass. Can I talk to you, sir? I am looking at you in a hospital, and there is a medical report. Yes. That has to do with you. Yes. Sir. Bring it out. <laughs> Two, I'm looking at argument. You were arguing with doctor mm. over the sex of the baby. You were told once, you doubt it. Mm. The second test confirmed, and you now submit it. Yes. Mm. I'm seeing attack in the dream. Yes. You are attacked, and madam also is attacked. Yes. I'm looking at wrong position. Yes. Mm. It's wrong. The Lord will set her free and set you free. Amen. What the doctor has said about your medical report will be cancelled today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus' name. Give thanks to God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be free in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank I'm you, looking Jesus. at a baby boy. There should be no controversy over it. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. A Thank baby you, boy, Jesus. at the ninth month, she will deliver. Amen. She will not go for operation. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We are free. My name is Mrs. Ngoze Kwano. I am from Anambra State. The man standing beside me is my husband. We are here to testify on what God has done in our lives. When I was seven months pregnant, I came for prayers one Monday service. So wise man Christopher prophesied to us. First of all, he went to my husband. He told him that he can see a doctor's report with him. He brought it out from his pocket. So a wise man now told him that he should not worry, that everything has been cancelled. So he told me again that 
You can see evil attack. Can I talk to you, sir? I am looking at you in a hospital, and there is a medical report. Yes. That has to do with you. Yes. Bring it out. Two, I'm looking at argument. You were arguing with doctor mm. over the sex of the baby. You were told once, you doubted. Mm. The second test confirmed, and you now submitted. Yes. Mm. I'm seeing attack in the dream. Yes. You are attacked, and madam also is attacked. Yes. Before I came to that Monday service, in my dream, I heard one voice telling me that is it that me or my baby that I will not deliver that baby? So in the same dream, I saw a wise man, Christopher. I told him everything. He prayed for me in that dream. He told me that I should not worry, that I will deliver my baby safely. Then the same day I came, he told me almost the same thing I saw in my dream. He came to me. He asked me, Madam, can I talk to you? I said yes. He said that he can see wrong position of baby. I said yes, that doctor says so. So he told me that I should not worry, that I would deliver my baby safely in nine months with no operation. And he said that he's a baby boy. I'm looking at wrong position. Yes. Mm. Yes, sir. The Lord will set her free and set you free. Amen. What the doctor has said about your medical report will be cancelled today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus' name. Give thanks to God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be free in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank I'm you, looking Jesus. at a baby boy. There should be no controversy over it. So, children of God, I delivered my baby safely with no oppression, and he's a baby boy. My name is Mr. Daniel Ekwano. The lady beside me is my beautiful wife. A wise man, Kistova, he came to me and prophesied. He said I had my uh, medical report in my pocket that I should bring it out. So I brought the medical report out. And he prayed for me and said that the medical report has been cancelled. He prayed for my wife also. So Can I talk to you, sir? I am looking at you in a hospital and there is a medical report. Yes. That has to do with you? Yes. Bring it out. Two, I'm looking at argument. You were arguing with doctor mm. over the sex of the baby. You were told once, you doubted. Mm. The second test confirmed, and you now submitted. Yes. Mm. I'm seeing attack in the dream. Yes. You are attacked, and madam also is attacked. Yes. I'm looking at wrong position. Yes. Mm. Yes, sir. The Lord will set her free and set you free. Amen. What the doctor has said about your medical report will be cancelled today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus' name. Give thanks to God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be free. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank I'm you, I'm looking Jesus. at a baby boy. There should be no controversy over it. I was surprised for somebody that have not seen me before to see that a medical report is in my, is in my pocket. On 4th of July, I was here. Uh, the wise man, the same wise man, Kistova, he called me again and said that he saw a woman in a hospital that I should not bother, that God is in control, that God has set the woman free and set me free, that the woman is my wife. So when I went to my court, my wife, she told me that she's in the hospital, and the next day she delivered the baby. My advice to my fellow women out there is that they should have faith, trust, and believe in God, because with God, all things are possible. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Akinde Babatunde 
I'm from Ondo State. The problem that brought me to Snagok Church of All Nations is all about poverty. And before I start my testimony, this prayer is for everybody here. Poverty shall not be our portion in Jesus' name. Sometimes, 1998, I've been trekking. The rain will beat me. The sun will beat me. I now graduated from trekking to Okada riding. My people deserted me because I had nothing on me. They deserted me completely. I had nobody to come to my aid. I keep on praying. Then I have a boss here in this auditorium. He now called me by my name. He said, I, can do it. I said, sir, your problems is over. I now say, Oga, I claimed it in Jesus' name. He now said, we are going to Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos. I said, I will follow you because I'm a lover of Emmanuel TV. I don't watch any other thing on my decoder than Emmanuel TV. And we swung to action. We used this car. We came to Lagos. That was on September. So when we came, I sat down. I did. So when the man of God was preaching, the man of God said a lot about this anointing sticker. And I said, ah, what am I going to do with an anointed sticker? Do I place this anointed sticker on Okada? I said, no, it is over my dead body. But inside me, I had that belief that my, my past will be over. After I got this anointing water, when I get back to my base, I started praying, God, the yoke of poverty, let it be broken in my life today. I don't want to trek again. I refuse to use Okada. God, this sticker is from Synagogue Church of All Nations. I want to be a particular, I want people to know that this sticker is really true. The God of Synagogue is really a God that is worth serving. God, I need your intervention. Miraculously, a money I never expected just came my way. Ah, uh -uh. see money, oh. Where did I go take this money do? And I said, I'm, you, uh, let me get a car for myself. God now gave me a Toyota Camry 1999 model. Sir, can you tell us how many years have you been facing this problem of poverty? 11 years ago. And how long did it take for God Almighty to perform this miracle in your life once you had received the anointing sticker and anointing water? Not up to two weeks. I'm looking towards everybody that we should come under the canopy of God. He is the only protector we have. What many people believe can never happen again, he can transform it overnight. It is God that is doing it. No any other power. It is God. Iman. Stretch your hands, stretch your hand for a while. Alleluia. Alleluia. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Alleluia.
Stretch your hand, Father, we thank you. Holy Ghost, we thank you. Whatever foundation that is not of Jesus, whatever foundation that is built on the foundation of demon, begin to rebook that demon now. Check the foundation. Check the foundation. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Open your lips and begin to check the foundation. I check the foundation. Quelles que soient les fondations qui ne sont pas de Jésus Christ, quelles que soient les fondations démoniaques, faites trembler ces fondements maintenant dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Open your lips and begin to check the foundation. Say, I shake the foundation. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We are taking you back to the foundation. Foundation means when you are very small, you have no independence. Whatever they ask you to do, you do it. So I want you to open your lips. Those foundations are not of God. You want to disconnect yourself. Say you demon. You demon. In the name of Jesus. I shake your foundation. I shake your foundation. Open your lips and begin to shake the foundation. Continue sacudiendo toda fundación que no sea plantada por Jesucristo, toda fundación diabólica. Comience a sacudirla. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You stranger. You demon. Tu demonio, tu extraño. Your body is not the temple of demon. I command that demon out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out! 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 Watch your screen. That is the manifestation of the evil spirit as you continue to command every stranger out of your life. Continue to watch your screen. Regardez votre écran. Dans les esprits démoniaques se manifester. Que le point de prière de l'homme de Dieu, que tout corps étranger de votre corps sorte dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Sur la pantalla, vemos la manifestation des spirits contraires en ce moment, en telle oration. Open your lips, open your lips. Release, release, release. Release. Open your lips! Open your lips! In the name of Jesus! Begin to come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on. Your body is the temple of Holy God. In the name of Jesus! I command that demon! In the name of Jesus! If there is anyone here that been torment you stranger, spirit of killing, stealing, the cause of sickness, disease, the cause of affliction, I want to pray with you right now. You just your amen from your heart. This body is under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Whatever that is not of God, I command you out in the name of Jesus. You know those character those attributes those funny behaviors those bad habits they are not of God in your dream in your way I command them out in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them out in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost! Stretch your hand, stretch your hand. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray for the viewers all over the world. Where can you go from his presence? Jesus loves you. Stretch your hand. Where can you go from this present? Begin to receive in the name of Jesus. 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 Are you on the sick bed? Wherever you are, in your float, in your blood, in your tender on the skin, in the bone, in the name of Jesus, never a sickness Jesus cannot heal. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Christ. Be here in the name of Jesus. Be here in the name of Jesus. I can hear breakthrough in your system. Breakthrough in your bone. Breakthrough in your fluid. Breakthrough in your blood. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And Jesus said you are healed. You are healed perpetually. You are here in Jesus' name. Are you facing hardship? What is your problem? In your business? In your finances? Right now, receive that anointing. Anointing to move on. 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 Your business begin to rise again. Your finances begin to rise again. Rise again. Rise again. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, cover your home. Cover everything that has to do with you with the blood of Jesus. I cover my home with the blood of Jesus. I possess my possession. I cover my finances with the blood of Jesus. I possess my possession. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. I possess my possession. I cover my home with the blood of Jesus. I possess my possession. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. If you are just coming, you have not have a relationship with God, our Lord and Savior. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm a sinner. Come into my heart. Wash me with your precious blood. Save my soul today. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. You are welcome to the family of God. We love you. We pray for you. We pray with you. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Holy Ghost, we thank you. Salvation is where abide in us and we abide in it. Remember, the best is yet to come. Thank you.